going on guys my master and back here again today and we are back with another episode of the madden 22 ultimate team series today we're gonna go ahead and feature curtis martin like i had mentioned in the previous episode there was a running back gameplay that we had to get done and obviously it was curtis martin but one of the things i had also mentioned was on our main account we also hit that level where we got the free strategy card pack and we had gotten plus one speed on running backs so he's actually going to be powered up with plus one speed so let's go ahead and take a look at him look at his stats and then jump into a game because honestly i'm super excited to use this card so he's actually getting boosted all the way to a 93 in our lineup so he's got 92 speed 93 Bruh. acceleration 90 agility 91 carrying thank god 67 catching 90 change of direction with 82 trucking and 92 break tackle so i don't care about catching i only threw to my running back because i had lt so if i didn't throw to him i feel like i would have been wasting coins but as far as curtis martin goes 90 change direction with a super solid back in my opinion cannot be beat so hopefully he's as good as his stats say like i said i've never used a curtis martin card honestly the only reason i wanted to pick him up was because i didn't get to in madden 16 so here he is madden 22 let's see if he balls out <laughs> Oh, he fumbled. I don't know how he fumbled. He fumbled and I got the ball. Okay. Okay, that's, I guess that's going to be game one. Okay. Before we start, I want to say shout out to my man, Chat Town Cards, because he told me to put Inside Dead Eye on Zach Wilson. And I literally had all intentions of doing it today. I literally reminded myself to do it and then I just started the game. So we already forgot. I'm so sorry. It's okay because at least you guys know that I remember what you say and I read all the comments. So anytime you want to talk or you want to mention something, just comment it and I will respond to it. Which you guys know is we're getting a huge sack. Let's go. So I wanted to say that the sub count is unbelievable. I have so many new subs and I am so happy that you guys are just communicating and just responding in the community. I love it. Fourth and 19, I guess he's gonna risk it. I was talking to my brother today. My goal was to hit 300 subs and we're about, I wanna say 21, maybe 31 subs. I'm sorry, 31 subs away, but I cannot believe you guys are already pushing us that close. Like it is unbelievable. Well, I'm gonna be honest. That was probably the easiest defensive drive of my life, but here he is, number 28, Curtis Martin. Let's see if we can go ahead and lock him Ooh. up in these, oh my God, blowing up whoever that was, but still almost getting the first. Yo, pour one out for whoever just got lit up by DeMarcus Ware. But let's see if Curtis Martin can stretch the end zone. And yes, sir. Two plays, already a touchdown. By no means am I trying to brag or get ahead of myself. I'm just so thankful for all you new subs. And I'm so thankful for all you old subs that have stuck with me. Like, I appreciate every single one of you. And it's just awesome to see how you guys are showing up for support. Well, enough with that. Let's lock into the game. I appreciate you guys. I know it, but let's go ahead and Hello, see if we can actually... Oh my goodness, look at the pressure. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to finish a single sentence today. Literally every sentence that I've been making ends with pressure. There we go. We're going to have another three game video. It looks like it. Fourth and 17 at the nine yard line. I'm going to go ahead and let Micah Parsons cover. Or I think that's actually Keanu Neal. So never mind. I thought that was going to be somebody that was a liability. And getting pressure in the end zone. Turn it over. We're going to go ahead and dump it off to Curtis Martin. I don't think there's any way that anybody's able to cover him. Um, I kind of threw that too early, but what a catch. If you thought I was going to throw a pick, I don't blame you because I thought I threw a pick. So, oh, well, let's see if Curtis Martin can get his second rushing touchdown of the game, completely moving everybody off of the right side. And again, another easy touchdown. He's going to go ahead and end this game. Wow, I guess three games in one video. Let's go. So finally coming out on offense, not having to start from a turnover. I want to see if Curtis Martin actually can run solidly out of the eye. And it looks like he was doing pretty good, but I don't know how we got caught. Uh, unless man coverage is pretty locked up, but B is wide open and we are throwing an accurate pass. I don't understand how that was the first chance we got. Making a good pick and I thought Jimmy Graham, okay, Jimmy Graham barely making the tackle, nice. I don't know what he's running on offense, running a typical play action. I feel like that is super strong this year, so that's one thing we're going to have to watch out for. Make a play! Darrell Revis is not getting fooled by the play action. Come on, bro, you got to be kidding me. EA actually fixed the zones like I don't know how we made that play I haven't seen a play Ooh. that good oh there we go oh but getting caught by our shoestrings time to actually get a first down because it looks like we're not going to see any of Curtis Martin if we can't do our job right now I feel like he just has some unbelievable man coverage and we're not really getting the best spin there we go and we got an extra 15 let's go 
Be mad as fuck as you want, but don't hit my quarterback. Like, I don't give a shit. Just don't be that guy. This is the first person that's actually got a flag against me for roughing the passer. So I'll give it to this guy. He's making Curtis Martin work for his yards, but if he does not cover him underneath, I will hit him. He is not going to stop me. Curtis Martin with a huge touchdown. Let's go. 67 catching, 97 catching. I will dump it off to my running back if he's open. Shout out to Curtis Martin for catching that in stride and going ahead and getting the touchdown. Run it, run it. I dare you. I've got spies. Nope. And that is mine. What? I'm hyped today, boys. I'm seeing people getting unbanned. I'm seeing people just having fun on mud. Like, this is what I want to see. And it even hypes me up during gameplays. Let's go. Everybody in the community, shout out you guys. Y'all are giving me strength in these gameplays to shut these guys down. And finally getting a good play. But once again, Sean Taylor becoming a liability. But I promise if he tries to roll out, that's going to be the last thing he does. Make a play. I had to swat it just to pick it. Keanu Neal. Let's go. Down to the 10. Well, he kind of got me in the backfield, but shout out to Keanu Neal. People are finally catching the ball. Whoever swatted it and tried to get it away, I need people that are actually going to play the ball. And shout out to Keanu Neal for doing that. Again, user blitzing me. I can't do much. He tries to play it. I'm going to go ahead and hit Jimmy Graham. Jump up for the ball. Why did it take so long for him to come down? Can you Jimmy Graham was in the air for like four seconds. This motherfucker was literally flying. I guess we'll take the turnover. Can't do anything else about it. But getting burned in the end zone, Roy Williams against the receiver. What can you do? Oh, I'm getting fucking sick of this Cam Chancellor card. Like, God damn, please let me bust one. Just at least one. There you go. That's what you get for trying to tackle immediately. Still not breaking away. I don't know what a bit. What? That's not even a first down? Second in inches? Oh my god, bro. Please let me reach for it. Pick up a block. There we go. Finally getting at least 15. We need to go ahead and score. I do not like the way this guy's playing at all, and I really just want to get this guy out of here. There we go. Jimmy Graham making up for his interception with a huge reception. Let's go. It looks like he's actually trying to double cover Curtis Martin underneath, so that's fine. Whatever you want to do, I guess. Oh, that's a touchdown, though. Jump and down to the one. Now, even if we don't get it, we can still run the clock down, but it looks Bruh. like... What are you doing, Keith Smith? You fucking bum! It really looks like I'm going to actually have to invest in a new fullback. Like, dude, it's an 85 overall fullback. Why would he turn around in mid-stride? It's like he meant to do it. I know this PA post. I'm not a fool. You can have deep. Or you can have underneath because I'm going to guard deep all day, big dog. One of the things to mention that obviously because he is just sending nothing but play action, we can't blitz. We just have to use it the safety because that's really our biggest issue. Sean Taylor kind of put us in a little position where we weren't able to actually cover the ball. But nobody open over the top. And Kyle, dude. All right, thank goodness. Everybody's actually playing pretty solid. I'm going to have to watch Darrell Revis because once again, he is on somebody that's fast. But it's actually the outside corner getting burned. This guy has two clock on. No idea why because there's no chance that I'm going to go ahead and give up a touchdown. Throw it, I dare you. Throw it, I dare you. No one open except for Kyle Pitts. Dude, how? Oh, really? Again, I'm going to have to watch out. I can't run any play actions because he's blitzing me every down, it seems like, whether it's a man or a zone blitz. But, again, I'm going to have people open every single down because he's running blitzes. I want to mention that when I try to make those tackles, I absolutely just land on my face like a fool. So I have no idea why they're making such great plays, but apparently they are. So I guess that's all we can do. Getting the first down, though. Let's go, Zach Wilson. Again, all I want is to at least get Curtis Martin over 100 yards. Finally getting a decent block, running him over, but not getting the first. What better time than to run a play action? Again, if he's blitzing me, I have zero time to get the ball off. But I should have somebody open over the top. There we go. Williams with a huge touchdown. Let's go. Here we go. Finally scoring back. Roy Williams actually catching the ball or at least hanging on to it. But one thing that we have to mention is that whole drive was set up by Curtis. I guess still that's going to happen in the game. I don't know why we get pulled off of our users if we're making last second adjustments. Like, I guess it's supposed to be a penalty or something. But, God, man, like, I'm literally, I know who I want to be on. Please don't take me off of him. There we go. Big pressure. And nope. swatted away. Roy Williams getting burned. I, I, again, 
I don't know why I'm even trying to throw my body with the hit stick when I told myself all I was going to be doing was pressing X. Everybody finally playing good zone, but Sean Taylor again getting burned. No way should we have given that up with a promo card. That was literally a promo master giving up one of the easiest coverage routes in the game. Like, that should have never happened. Zach Wilson doing it all, I guess. I ever see me just freeze up during a play? It's because I'm watching a playmaker or someone that I think is supposed to be playmaker. And that instance, it was supposed to be Jimmy Graham, but it was not. There we go, Curtis Martin with a huge catch. But there is no reason his tiny frame should be able to just eat through blocks. There we go, getting the first down. Shout out to Roy Williams. I shout out to Roy Williams because he's actually picking up a block. Again, he's one of those players that doesn't get hot until the second half, and it's unfortunate, but there we go! Juke in, finally getting a huge run. Let's go. Timeout. He can run the screen, but the only issue is when we run the screen, we have to run it away from his cam. And it looks like he's actually covering it. Playmaker upfield. There we go. Okay, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson just win the game. Let's go! But did he really just... Did I really just do that with Zach Wilson? That was probably one of the most impressive plays I think I've ever made on the channel. Bro. And again, getting burned last second. I literally manned Darrell Revis up. That is the whole reason he was on Will Fuller. There's no way we should have gotten burned like that. And again, getting burned on the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep him manned up. It doesn't matter who we have him on. At least we have somebody that's fast on him. I'll cover him all the way up until we can compensate, I guess. But right now, all we have to do is keep this guy out of the end zone. There's no reason he should even be this close. No reason. Stop him and not a drop. I'm so sick to my stomach. I don't know how Devin Hester caught that. 92 getting blown up by Roy Williams. There's no reason he Game should have caught that. Over. And again, an easy touchdown. Well, honestly, sick to my stomach with the way that game ended. At least Curtis Martin got some touchdowns in this gameplay. But honestly, I'm so, so sick of Sean Taylor. Like, I don't understand how, even if he's out of position, how could he be that bad? Every time the ball went his way, he was nowhere near it. Like, I don't understand how he could be that bad. And it's a little disappointing that we kind of spent $100 to get him. So I don't know if he's going to be on the team long. This might be the first year that I actually get rid of Sean Taylor early. But it was honestly a piss poor performance by him that literally cost us the game. Other than that, guys, I hope at least it was an entertaining game. A tough game nonetheless. But I think, like I said, we got killed by our own team. So my name's Buttmaster, and I'll see you guys in the next one.